Well, he may only be in the Senate a short time, but Senator Ted Kaufman is speaking out loudly when it comes to financial regulation and what needs to be done about it. He joins us from Washington now uh, to discuss. Senator, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hey, Poppy, thanks for having me. Your voice has been a loud one in this debate. You've talked a lot about mega banks, the need to eliminate too big to fail, also the need to separate proprietary trading from commercial banking. Want to talk about that first because your amendments that you proposed with Senator Brown were struck down. You've now proposed new amendments with uh, Senator Levin. Any progress there? What's your main goal in this? My main goal is to get banks out of the risky business. You really want to make sure that the Volcker rule here is here right. to stay, that it makes it through despite right. all of the lobbying against it. And, and the right. big question is, exactly. how, how realistic do you think that is? Because some would say the financial regulatory reform is sort of losing steam as it progresses here throughout the debating in, in the Senate. And, and when it reaches the president's desk, you're arguing it's critical that it has that separation for banks going forward. Yeah. Well, I think that's really important. I think there's a lot of things important. I would, I would argue that most of the amendments that have been accepted have been uh, amendments to make it uh, a better piece of legislation mm -hmm. and to make it tougher. The fact that the, the, my main amendment didn't pass, uh, uh, I'm clearly not happy with. But I think there's been a number of amendments. Bernie Sanders' amendment uh, was a good amendment. There's been amendment on other things. Uh, the fact that Blanche Lincoln's amendment on derivatives uh, is in the bill or, or, or essentially in the bill is a good thing. Mm -hmm. And we still have a number of amendments coming up. But I really think it would be key uh, to have the uh, Merkley Levin uh -huh. amendment in so but that banks could not be doing proprietary trading. Senator, aren't there things that are just not included in this regulatory reform bill that you and others think are necessary? Oh, one, yeah. one person that oh, spoke yeah. out loudly about what's not included is Warren Buffett recently talking about the fact right. publicly that the incentive structures, the compensation structures uh, at financial firms are, isn't addressed at right. all. In, in reform. Right. So the question is, is what yeah. is what is proposed and what is being debated now, does it really make the right. fundamental changes that are necessary? Right. Well, I don't think, I, look, I, I, I Warren Buffett's very bright. In fact, I think right now I even own some stock in Berkshire Hathaway. <laughs> I mean, he's a very, very bright guy. I don't think compensation is the hardest. I think what we have to do is change the structure of, of these institutions, and that's really what we're trying to do but here. But when it comes to compensation, uh, you talk about incentivizing. How do you right. how, yeah. how, how do you incentivize people to make moves? Right. Are you incentivizing them with short-term compensation to make risky moves? Sure, that's sure. what it comes down to, oh, is no. that risk-taking. Oh, yeah, no, no, but we shouldn't have, the point is, I, you can use incentives to stop banks from engaging in proprietary trading. The key part of this provision is get the structural reforms, Get, make sure that we now have regulators that can actually see what's going on, and then that we get uh, get rid of these uh, or, or really phase back the use of derivatives so it's used only for high-end uses where we have to use it to get rid of the synthetic uh, uh, credit default swaps. Do those kinds of things. I think that's really key to the success of this. Uh, of this uh, bill. You've talked a lot about the role of rating agencies in all of this. Can you just uh, talk about the fact that the, you know the role of rating agencies doesn't change at all in the reform package? No, I think we, there's going to be some rating uh, agency amendments coming on that I think uh, that are very strong and uh, I think we really have to uh, deal with rating agencies. Clearly there's an incredible, incredible, incredible conflict of interest. There's a number, I know Senator Franken has a rating agency amendment. I know Senator Lemieux from Florida mm -hmm. has a rating agency. So I, I am sure we will get to rating agencies. Uh, we heard about from the rating agencies when uh, Carl Levin had that permanent subcommittee on investigations. We had uh -huh. just a whole day with rating agencies. And, and the there's your pop, your absolute on point, just all wrong incentives. We were incentivizing people to increase market share and profits, sure. and that put them at a structure on what, what kind of ratings they give these things, because they know if they give a triple A rating, they get more. And, and Senator, finally, you sat on that special investigations committee uh, of Goldman Sachs right. in recent weeks, and you heard the hours and hours of testimony from Goldman Sachs executives. Just speak to us, candidly, if you will, about what you gleaned from that. Were you convinced that a law was broken here, or were you not convinced? I mean, is this just the way the business I, runs? I. Uh, the rules are very uh, are very interesting the way they are right now, and the way the way Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs was right legally, totally wrong ethically, when they said, "Look, we can sell these credit default swaps and these mortgage-backed securities to to clients, sell them long, and at the same time go out and sell the very same security short." Again, just to reiterate, you said sure. they were you know they were within their legal parameters, but not ethical parameters. Right. I'm, you know, you don't have not, a and, say and have, over what's ethical or, or what's not. Unfortunately, that's not no, how no. The law but works. what we can do is we, 
Well, first off, what I want to do is, is, is and Senator Specter and I have an amendment, and there's others, to make sure that they have to have a fiduciary relationship. That's how they got away. In the old days, they were their clients, they had to have a fiduciary relationship, which meant they'd have to tell their clients that they were selling things short and about the conflict of interest. The problem is right now, as market makers, they are allowed to do it. That's outrageous. So it, it, it's ethically wrong now. There may be some illegal activities in there. I, I mean, there's a lot of potential fraud. Mm -hmm. But in terms of dealing with this, what we have to do now is make sure that market makers have a fiduciary responsibility to their clients so they have to tell their clients if, in fact, they're selling something short at the same time they're selling to them long. We'll see how this all plays out, whether or not the SEC's claims of fraud stand up. A, a lot of discussion ahead, a lot of debate, and a lot of legal issues to sort through. Senator, thanks so much for joining us.